Greetings and salutations to you, people of the interwebs. So today I thought I'd take a look at something a little bit different today. That is the Black Series Gamorian Guard. So I believe this is some kind of exclusive type deal figure. Now the Gamorian Guards were in the best of Star Wars movies, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Go for it in the comments below. Uh, yeah, so these are these these piggy um, guards that are in Jabba the Hutt's palace. And one of my favourite kind of creature type people of the Star Wars series, mostly because it's one of the ones that I closely resemble. So he's very orky. And you know I like orcs. So, you know, that, that that's an also another winning factor with his green skin and piggy looks. He could have stepped out of a Dungeons and Dragons game rather than the Star Wars universe. <laughs> Look at this pose in a moment. It looks very apprehensive at the moment from what's going to go down now. Uh, yeah. So what can I tell you about this figure? I'm not sure about the exclusivity. It was, it was in a bigger box than the normal Black Series figures. It didn't have a, a serial number. And a little bit more pricey than other figures. And really, we're going to do some size comparisons straight away, shall we? So there he is with Han Solo. And here he is with Chewbacca. So I'm not really quite sure what the justification is of the extra price. He does come with three whole accessories. But, you know, there again. When I look at this and the amount of just paint detail that's on there, all this sculpted detail and then the, the browns and then the weathering and the, the metallics and the weathering and the face and the extra little bit of, bits of brown and, and lines and details and just the washes and stuff that have gone into this guy. I mean, it, it, look at that leather jerkin. It's... You know, just that wash on it. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, he does have this huge um, soft goods nappy, which uh, I can see why they've done it, but I could have also preferred it if they would have, you know, sculpted like Chewbacca's hair here because we do have all this weathering and stuff, and this just looks... It's like he's got a brand new nappy on. <laughs> There's like a floating belt section there again. That's, you know, painted up the metal in that. Really, really impressed with just the amount of detail they've put into this guy. It does have a little faux loincloth under there. If we, you know, you just want to warm him in his pants rather than his nappy, you can do that. <laughs> well, cover yourself up, man. Yeah. He's... I'm impressed. I, I am impressed with this figure. So I'm not... Um, I'm not pissed that I paid a premium price for it. Let's just put it that way. Because I think there's a lot of love has got into this. But if I was someone who... Um, you know, I only, I'm only a casual Black Series collector. I only just pick up a few characters here and there. I'm in no way a completionist. I'm in no way a troop builder. And if I was a troop builder... I might be a bit pissy that he puts, puts him in a, a premium price when really, you know what I mean, you're getting bigger figures like this in the Black Series anyway. And, you know, you can equally then play pay for smaller figures for that same Black Series price. So why he isn't in the main line, uh, maybe he'll come out later on in a different way. I don't know. Slightly fewer paint apps. I don't know what Hasbro are doing. What I do know they're doing is making damn good figures. So, in terms of articulation, he's got a ball joint on here on a slight swivel up and down as well. So you can get some rudimentary movements out there. It is a big head, so you know it can get blocked up a bit. You can you force a little bit, get him to look up there, look down there, swivel to the way. Hey. So, you know, so you can do that, should you wish. 
The piece de la resistance of this, of course, is he also has uh, an opening jaw, which, because his lips don't, you know, fall down with his mouth opening, it just makes him, he looks very panicked rather than, like, ferocious. He's like, uh, which, if you've seen the movie, some of them do spend quite a bit of time panicked. Um, it's got disc hinges here at the arm, so you can get up to there and blocked a little bit by all this lovely armour there, but you can get, you know, some extra from moving it back and forth. It's got a single hinged elbow. You know, can do it does have a full swivel as well as the hinge. It's quite a deep elbow bend as well. There is a swivel at the wrist, and there is some bend, bend, bend. It's got some bend on it, man. At the wrist, but you know, not that much. I think if you maybe if you heat it up and get a bit more after it's been played with a bit, it might give you a bit more. And that's the same, you know, on both sides. Now, there's a killer ball joint here at the waist. So you can get our crunch and our back and out to the side, out to the side, and you can go way all the way around. So yeah, that's can give him make up for a lot of the loss in his head by being able to turn this around. Up here, we can get his legs out to about here. We can get him about that far up. That far back, there is a thigh swivel, so that'll go 360, those thigh swivels. And he does have double jointed knees, so you know, Piggy can run. <laughs> Look at that. Way he's got double joint knees at the foot. They go up like that, down like that, and he's got ankle tilts for days. <laughs> just, 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 just too much in a way. That is just whoop. Why would you even ever, ever need that? You have even painted his, his horrible little toenails and his fingernails. That's how much detail they've gone into that. Now he does have accessories. So he's got this staff trident spear thing, brutal bit of metal. That can hold like so. Like so. So yeah, you can hold his uh ah, staff at you. That's pretty cool. But my favorite bits are double choppers. Now these are great. So they've got brown wooden hafts and then the blades are this dirty grey metal and some nice either blood or rust down the bladed edges which is absolutely looks fantastic. And he holds these nice and tightly, so yeah. 
Ah. All in all, he means business. Look at that. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that I managed to get hold of this. I uh, bought it from the good old people at Kapow Toys UK. Um, over you take you even other other online retailers are available. Um, so I think Kapow at least sold out of the, the the shipment that they had. But yeah, well, if you're into your Star Wars. If you're into your Black Series, if you want a bit of a slice of Return of the Jedi and, you know, Jabba's Palace, where are all the interesting characters, looking characters are from, um, I'd recommend picking this up. <laughs> it's just manipulating him all with him. It just kind of makes you feel a bit like a rancor, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah. The Star Wars Black Series... Gamorian Guard, it's a Bisto Yeti recommendation. So join me next time. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me below how you think Empire Strikes Back is better than Return of the Jedi. I'm sure I'd love to hear it. But no, um, Return of the Jedi is the best of the Star Wars films. Until then, I say comment, subscribe, do whatever. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Because you deserve it. We'll fist bump, shall we? Fisto! Fisto!